Hey everyone, so today's question is what is the smallest number by which 180 to be multiplied to get perfect square? So 180 is not perfect square, we have to multiply with the smallest number so that the 180, whatever number we are multiplying, it becomes a perfect square. So we are going to do a prime factorization here. I'll take down the 180. Now 180 is again an even number, so I'm going to start with the even prime number which is 2. So 2 9s are 18 and then put the 0. Again 0 we have, so it's divisible by 2. So 2 4s are 8, 1 is left, it becomes a 10, so 2 5s are 10. Now we have 45, it is divisible by 3. Next prime number is 3, so 3 1s are 3. So 4 we have, 3 1s are 3, so 1 is a remainder. So 3 5s are 15. Again 15 is divisible by 3, so 3 5s are 15. And last we have 5 1s are 5. Alright, so I'm going to rewrite this again. So 180 can be written as 2 into 2 multiplied by 3 into 3 multiplied by 5. Now, I guess it's clear that there is a no pair for 5. Like 2 is forming a pair, 3 is forming a pair, but this 5 is single. It doesn't have any pair up here. So, if they are asking you what is the smallest number to be multiplied, so here if, if I multiply with one more 5, it will gonna have a pair. Yes, so here the smallest number will be 5. So, I am going to multiply 5 here with 180 also. So, remember, you should multiply on both the side, otherwise it will not be balanced. So, 180 into 5 is nothing but 900. So, 900 is equal to, I am going to just rewrite once again. 2 into 2 multiplied by 3 into 3 multiplied by 5 into 5. Now, when you're finding the square root of 900, so this is 900, square root of 900 is nothing but, so you're going to just, you got the pair, right? So from each pair, you should take 1, 1 factor. So from here, I'll take 2 multiplied by from here, a 3, and from the last one, I'll take 5. So multiply, 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 5 is a 30. So square root of 900 is nothing but 30. I hope it's clear to you. If you have any questions or doubt, you can drop a comment below.